Hello, this is Chris Taylor from TaylorMade RF G0WTZ and I'd like to talk to you about the Yaesu FT60. Yaesu FT60 is a very simple to operate radio, very rugged, well built, comes supplied with a battery, comes supplied belt clip, rubber duck antenna, all ready to go, charger. Um, things like drop-in chargers etc, they're an option. Are they really necessary? I don't think so. I like to just plug DC inside. If you want to run it off the cigar lighter lead, do you need one of these battery eliminators, which then means you've got to take the battery off? No, again, 12 volts in the side. So they're a little bit dearer than some of the Chinese radios that you find floating around, but you're paying for features. The most important feature is the ease of operation. If you turn it on and we want to go to S20, one four five five hundred. No one talking me through it, but I can see it's there. Uh, squelch is a nice conventional pop, not digital squelch, proper squelch where you can set it yourself. And then once you've set it, you can tune up and down. Um, I'm deliberately not getting the book out because you don't need it with this radio, it is that intuitive. Okay, let, let me give you a scenario. If you've got one of these Chinese radios, they'll come with the software and the interface to program the memories, which let's face it, most of them need because the English is not the easiest to understand. Um, I got one the other day, a King Po made by a company called Luton, and it had a command on it, SFD, and it took me ages to work out that was shift frequency direction. I don't know what ever happened to repeat a shift but anyway that was what it meant so the FT60 how do you program it on that the first thing you need to do is know your local repeater if I, I'm using the app on the iPhone UK repeaters but we haven't all got that privilege so go on S20 put a call out find someone local and ask them what the local repeater is the local repeater to me is GB3HR at Harrow on 70 cents and it's on 43350 with 82.5 CTCSS. So you write that all down ready, um, and we tap in 433350. That's fine, that's in. And then we're looking at the radio, and there's a plus sign come. That's because it's automatically, because it's a UK radio, it's automatically put in the UK repeater shift of 1.6 megs. That's default. Now, at the moment, I won't be able to access the repeater because I haven't got CTCSS. When you look at the FT60, there are some words in orange, and those are operated when you press the function key. Bottom right hand corner, there's a button that just says F and W. That's function and right. So we press the function button once, just press it, and then press squelch type. It comes up and it says off. We turn this multi channel click switch here and we select toe. Um, I'm not sure if the repeater that I'm putting in, because let's assume it's a repeater I haven't used for, I'm not sure if it sends back CTCSS tone. So we can play with that afterwards, but initially I'm just going to put tone in code on, which is enough for me to get into the repeater. So that's fine. The next thing I need to do is put the right CTCSS in. So function code for the CTCSS code, and you turn that tuning again till you get to the right one. In this one's case, 82.5 press function to save it. So I've now got my repeater shift, my tone, and my frequency. And there we go, accessing GB3HR, a G0WTZ testing. Just so that the locals know what I'm up to. It's got a nice big speaker, so when people do talk to you, the audio is nice and clear. Um, very intuitive, right. The next thing, you're in a strange area, are you going to remember that repeater tomorrow? Probably not, so let's put it into memory. That button at the bottom right hand corner, FW, function all right. Press and hold it, and it comes up and it's flashing 001. That's the memory. It's going to put it in that memory. Press and hold it again, memory in. And now it's given me an option, if I want to, to save it with alpha tag. I'm not actually going to bother for this video, but it's very easy. I might do it on the next memory we put in. So there we go, 433350. And if I put in another frequency, 145500 again, um, if I press the VFO memory, it goes over to memory, 
and I'm back into the 70 cents repeater. Press VFO, back to VFO. Very easy. Let's do another one. My local 2 meter repeater is 1457375. And again, it's putting the minor shift for me. Um, I need CTCSS, so function, tone. Um, turn it till I get tone. Function code to set the CTCSS code, it's 77 hertz on this repeater. Function to save it, and there it is. I can't access this repeater, it's too far away. But um, it, if I was out in the car, it would do right. Press and hold the function right button, and that will bring up memory number two. Press it once, memory in, and it's now saved that in as memory number two. So if I one four five five hundred on the VFO like so press the VFO memory and it brings me unfortunately it can't be very clearly seen on this it's just got the two channels that I've just programmed in the two repeaters you can if you want to alpha tag them and that's quite easy and straightforward to do it's just a case of rotating the VFO tuning control on the top until you get to the right one. Um, all the other functions are very very simple, they're all on the front. There are a few extra ones if you press function and then set, you go into a menu and there's loads of different settings and that's when you need the handbook. But all the regularly used stuff is on the front keypad. Um, and if you get it all wrong, very very easy, you just turn the radio off, pressing a button on the side, and do a full reset. Um, but there you go, so from taking the radio out of the box and putting it on and putting a couple of frequencies in less than 10 minutes and away you go you're on air ready to uh, to use it if you want to go the cheap handheld route i've got 40 pound chinese handhelds with programming software you know just pull in the lay by next time you're going down the m3 pull up on the hard shoulder whip out your notebook and put in the new the frequency of the next repeater you want to use or alternatively have an FT60 and tap it in. You can save money, but what price do you put on the time you spend ploughing through the book and programming? It's just so much easier. The other advantage, of course, two years the ASU warranty. Any problems, the ASU UK will look after you, um, or your dealer will look after you. It's got a conventional SMA, not a reverse SMA. Um, so that that's straightforward you know what you're getting as i said earlier dc straight in the side no battery eliminators re required and if the radio is turned off it'll be charging it for you so when you get to where you're going you take the cigar lighter plug out and you're ready to go so there you have it quick rundown on how to get going with the ft60 thanks for watching and see you again soon g this is chris taylor from taylormade rf g0wtz